<clears throat> okay, group, this um, video will be 13 through 18. So here, um, we want to reflect across the line x equals negative 1. So we're going to go ahead and draw that line x equals negative 1. And so we want to reflect over that. So all we have to do is count. So if we look at i, i is 1 away, so we go the opposite direction. There's our new i. w is 1 away. There's our new w. b is 1 away. So here's our new b. And then l is 1, 2, 3, 4 away. So our new l is over here. Now we can connect those points. And so you can see that we reflected over the line x equals negative 1. So for 14, we're reflecting across the line x equals negative 3. So here, again, we just count. So s is 1 away, so our new s is over here, 1 away to the left. w is 1 to the right, so we'll go 1 to the left. p is 1 away. So we go one away on the opposite side, and i is two away, so we'll go two away on the other side. So you can see we reflected over our line of x equals negative three. And then here we're gonna reflect over the line y equals x again. So if you watched the video um, from number 12 up here, um, we talked about how the point S, we can easily count diagonally. Um, however, points like A, like that's really hard to count diagonally. So if we look at S, all we have to see is that we flip our X and our Y. So we're going to try that here. Okay, so obviously L, that would be easy to count diagonally, right? And our new L would be over here. But that's not always going to work for all of our points. So if we look at our points um, L, L is at the point 0, positive 2. So our new L is going to be at 2, 0. And there it is. So if you look at H, H is at negative 2, positive 3, so our new h will be at 3, negative 2. Okay, and then q is at negative 2, 1, so our new q will be at 1, negative 2. And then lastly is p, which is at negative 3, negative 2. So our new p will be at negative 2, negative 3. So we reflected over our y equals x line. Okay, so here we're just um, trying to find the line of reflection. So if we look here, about halfway in between these two will be our line of reflection, which looks like it's our y-axis. And so if we count away, those would all work. Here for 17, um, it looks like halfway in between P is this line here. So if we count all of those, they would all be um, equally apart. So this is the line 1, 2, x equals negative 3. And then let's see, our line of reflection here. Okay, this one looks like it's going to be horizontal. So if we count um, 1 for j and 1 for j prime, we're good. Same thing with f. So it looks like this one would be at 1, 2, y equals positive 2. 